Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Alexander Mobley from the Body of Believers Unified YouTube channel. Today, we got a very special, special guest, historian Daniel Humphreys. He's doing chapter seven from his amazing documentary, Finding Your Identity, The Search for Who We Are. Daniel Humphrey, we thank you so much for coming, spreading your knowledge and wisdom and history and truth and teaching our people our true history that they don't even get to learn in school. Daniel, we really appreciate this, my brother. Definitely. You take it away. Yes, how you doing? Peace and blessings. This is Daniel Humphrey. I'm going to discuss my chapter seven. It's about the corruption laws that's still placed on today on how they affect us, um, how certain politics laws is still in effect today that's against black people. So very much, I'm gonna talk about all of this, the corruption and everything. So here we go. Corruption and laws have been against black people during Jim Crow, which was right after slavery. They made the amendments on December 15, 1791 and form what is known as the Bill of Rights. Now, think about this concept. This was in 1791. What was happening in 1791? Slavery. Mm. Just so people know, slavery, so don't, don't think your ancestors was free at this time, or what they thought was free. Now, name me a black person at this meeting. Who was at this meeting, December 15, 1791, that had black heritage? Please, send me, send me something, because I don't know anybody that was black that was in that meeting. You can't because our ancestors were slaves in America. For sure they were slaves. I don't even have to go into detail. We know slavery exists. Whoever don't believe it, please listen to songs. Watch movies. They even show movies in America about slavery. You guys can't believe slavery exists? Oh, my God. But here we go. Now, remember, the definition of a slave is a person who is the legal property of another and forced to obey them which means we are not fully human. They passed a bill to stop Asian hate. Whether Chinese, Japanese, Indian, Caucasian, Korean, or all from Asia. Mm. There were so many bills for African Americans that they still haven't been approved till this day. Mm. Why is that? They brought our ancestors in chains and raped and physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally damaged us. Why is that? Why can't we have one bill to guarantee, and especially since even, um, what was it, today that I saw another black person getting beat up by the cops. It's like, every day I gotta see this. Kick it. Every day I gotta see somebody getting beat. Only one guy got arrested. One white guy got arrested for kneeing George Floyd on the floor. So that's the only person who's who, who done bad ever in history. You know, you got people like Joe Biden, Camilla Harris that know the law and know that the law is not for black people, but they're going to be acting like, oh, we don't know. It's a surprise. We never knew that America was not racist. Camilla Harris said that out of her own mouth. Think about that. And now here we go. I'm going to talk about somebody specific because January 1st, 1863, you have President Abraham Lincoln issued the em Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, as the nation approached its third year of bloody civil war. The, pro the proclamation declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are and henceforward shall be free. There was a civil war against the North versus the South. They had the Confederate flags to let it be known that they was for slavery. So if you see a Confederate flag, those people are still racist to this day because the Confederate flag was for slavery. This was about the Civil War. So the, you still see people driving that, having on the back of their trucks or different stuff like that, just to even let that be enlightened. You know, so they was making too much money in the South. That's why they didn't want to get rid of slavery. They loved to defeat their slaves. They loved them working their money so they could get paid. So, it, so... I, I won't blame them because they was making too much money out of slavery. Now you're going to get rid of their slavery? But President Abraham Lincoln was very smart because he was a lawyer himself. And he, he put something on the law to make sure 
that slavery still exists, even though it's not going to be physical slavery like it was before, but it's still going to make them make a whole lot of money. Mm. So think about this way. After African Americans was going to revolt and was dangerous things to end the physical abuse. So they was killing people. They was they was just tired. They was tired of getting their butt whooped. It, it just comes to a point. I mean, they, they, they survived a long time with slavery, but but those other ancestors later on that came into the future, they said, we tired of slavery. We tired. That's why they was killing and it was going crazy. So Abraham Lincoln thought of the best plan ever in history. Because guess what I'm about to explain. They was getting it from the overseers. Abraham Lincoln didn't free the slaves. He just switched the game to mental slavery. Because think about it this way. If you really read about the 13th Amendment, it says right here, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, which means slavery was illegal except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall exist within the United States or any place subject to the jurisdiction, which means the new slavery is in the mass incarceration, the prison system, Overseers became officers. So people wonder where officers been. Officers wasn't always here until prison started being made. The overseers, they didn't need overseers no more because overseers was there to beat the heck out of people. But now we got a new person who beats the heck out of people, which is the police. <laughs> Do you feel me? So they just switched the game to us. Slavery really didn't happen. Who you who you think these police officers go to the most? Black neighborhoods. Who's in the most jail system? I could, I don't even have to look, and I already know more black people been to jail throughout history. And if you say Hispanic people, they they, they just the same as African people. So not, nonetheless, Africans went to jail the most out of every. I don't even see too many Asians go to jail. How many Asians you know go to jail on a regular basis? Not that many. And if you know one, you lucky. I don't I don't know one Asian who went to jail. But black people, I know n numerous people who went to jail. Mm, kick it. And some went to jail just by because like think about how they used to put used to go into the court system and make you confess to something you didn't do. Or oh, if you don't accept this plea, you can serve twenty five years. I think you should accept the five year plea. Why would I accept something I didn't do? But some people were scared. They used the fear. Fear works like a mug. Fear always worked throughout history. And they're going to use fear to make that person spend five years in jail for something he didn't commit because he's scared he don't want to serve 20 more years. You feel me? So a lot of people that's in jail, and then think about it this way too. What is crime? I know Caucasians have been doing crime for centuries. Some of them doing legal crime, but they the ones who make the laws. Black people don't make the laws. I don't know one black person who make laws in this country. We still follow the same laws from Jim Crow days. So I know black people ain't making no laws. Because if, if, if one thing, they should get rid of the Jim Crow laws. But, you know, they people think that we free. We 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 free. We, we free, sir. We free. We don't, we don't have to worry about us getting beat, <laughs> you know. So if you keep thinking y'all free, you're, you're not really free. It's just another form of slavery. It's just because physical, you know you was a slave, but mentally you don't know because you don't even know you're getting attacked. So think about that. Now here's some Jim Crow laws that they had back in the day. I'm going to get rid of slavery. Now I'm going to tell you about a little bit about Jim Crow days. Because here's some things I wrote down. This was Jim Crow late day. They say, any marriage between a white person and an African American or mixed citizen was prohibited. They say it was prohibited mm -hmm. for you to date anybody that was white. Like, you know, you you get hurt, you get killed, killed you get all kinds of things. So that was forbidden. And here, here's another one. Railroad stations must provide separate but equal waiting rooms for the white and color passengers, which means white and black people was not allowed to be together, even on the same train. 
So think about that. And you know, black people in that train got the nastiest place. And you know, white people got the nice, nice railroad thing. While we got the mediocre, you feel me? It, it just happens like that. And here's a third one too, for example. Assange posting what race was held in that room was to be seeable by everybody. So if it says for white, you do, if you black, don't go into that room. So think about that. Now, since they free slavery, now they're just going to treat us like mediocre. Oh, you got to go to the back of the, you got to go back of the kitchen and get the food. You can't even eat in a restaurant. So they just thought we were still low. Even though we were the slaves no more, we were still low as people. And here's another thing that happened in Jim Crow that still was just as bad as slavery. Look at this. Around Jim Crow, you know, that's when the Ku Klux Klan came about. You know, you know about the Ku Klux Klan people, I hope you know. They was lynching people. They was burning crosses on black people, even Jewish people. Even, but I mean, basically, they they really hated black, but they also hate Jews. They hated gays. They hated all of that. You feel me? So that was their purpose. But they really target the black people the most. And anybody going out with a black person, like if you was even dating, a, like if you was a white person dating a black person, they'll burn crosses on your lawn because they think you are a nigger lover. So think about that concept. Today's time, they wore suit. You know. Back then, they wore sheets, but in today's situation, they wear suits. See, they now they thought about the positive thing, being in politics. Remember, Ku Klux Klan used to follow Democrats. They used to support Democrats. That's why I can't stand black people voting for Democrats, because the Ku Klux Klan loved the Democrats. And people say Republicans are bad. I think all politics are bad. What are they doing for us? What is the Democrats doing for the poor people? They're still poor people. they still poor neighborhoods. How are they helping the poor? Look like they're helping the rich too. So who are they helping? How you feel with Joe Biden? Joe Biden don't know anything about being a Democrat because he ain't helping the black neighborhood. That's the people that's the poorest. If he's black, go for him. Yeah, and that was a good thing my, co my cousin mentioned. He said on the Breakfast Club in front of Black viewers who view the Breakfast Club, if you don't vote for me, you are not black. That's how you know we, we mentally in slavery because how can he, out of everybody in the world, say that we are not black? I'm more black than him. I'm not even the full melanated color, but I could even say that better. But he is pale. How are you going to dis... I don't know how you guys felt about that, like, but I felt... Hurt, I felt abused. I felt everything possible that was bad. Because he's not even in that category. He's not even Camilla Harris. She just got a little melanin on her. I rather her I rather Camilla Harris. But she, you know why Joe Biden picked Camilla Harris? Because she locked up 97% black people. Mm. You, she could have got somebody else that didn't put that many black people in jail. But no, she's going to get Camilla Harris. Because not only that she's going to get the woman vote, she's going to help with the blacks. Oh, a black woman. Yay. Woo. Woo. And you still, and, and then think about it this way. The president is still the highest form. She's just the vice president. You feel me? But people going to, people going to say support Camilla Harris. Listen, I support people that's helping out the people. If Camilla Harris is not helping out this poor people, and Joe Biden's not helping out the poor people, and believe me, they're still poor areas. They're still poor things. They're still ghettos. They're still projects. they still all of this stuff. You feel me? So I just want to explain that. You know, now here we go. Politics is a scam. Explain the detail. This is what I'm going to explain to you on detail. Politics is a scam. Politics has been a scam for years. They already have the people that they pick out. So it's corruption in politics because you can pay politics off. How many people pay politics off? Remember, Ice Cube made that song, Will My Birthday Buy Me a Politician? It's a shame that you got to teach your children. Everything's corrupt. <laughs> really? For my birthday, buy me a politician. This is what uh, Rockefeller and J.P. Morgan Chase did. They paid off politics to make their business grow because 
they was easy to buy off. Mm. And pala, and then look at the, the definition. Politics. Politics. They lie. The only thing they want is you to believe whatever they saying. So you won't know the real truth. It's just like that movie Casino. People would think that Ace is the leader. But guess who was leading Ace? It was the people that was from the sidelines that people don't know nothing about. That's the people that run this country. It's the people you don't know about. If you see Joe Biden and Camilla Harris, they don't run nothing. And every other country president is worth nothing. But in this country, they love to give you the land of illusion to make you think presidents are the, are the most because they want a mascot in the front line to take all the blame. <laughs> so think about it this way. You're only going to know how many people run your country if you look at your electoral colleges, right? Look at your electoral college from each state, and you're going to find out how many people own your state. Because remember, America is a corporation. So they're going to have a lot of business investors in their business, right? So if America is a corporation, it's not owned by one person because it's so big. Who could own that whole thing? You feel me? So they're going to have... So when you watch, when you look at your electoral college, look at how many people. I'm, I'm from New York, so I already know 29 people own New York. And this is why I love spending out information to teach people. So if you keep be believing in politics, you keep believing in all that stuff, that's your business. I know my vote don't count. It don't even count. It don't even count for Caucasians. It don't count for Asians. It don't count for any other race. You think it's gonna count for black people? Mm. <laughs> Thank Take you. It. Thank you. And then here's another thing that, that that grinds my gears: protesting. Now you know how many protesters it was for years, central. And this is not even just in America. See, America had a lot of protests too, but I'm talking about around the world of black people trying to protest to certain people that we want certain things for ourselves. We want freedom. We want we want like better businesses. We want stuff to help us. But they love when we protest because you know they think we stupid because we're gonna beg them. They love us begging because no no matter how many protests we do, nothing is gonna change unless. You know the law. See, that's one thing about this country. The law is very powerful in this country. And if you don't do nothing with the law, the only thing you're doing is just, like, you know, just going out there, acting like you're doing something, and go home and felt like you mm -hmm. did something. Gave it 10. Yes. Gave it 10. Yes. And then I'm trying to tell people, your protest in Marshall never worked to even with Martin Luther King. And it worked with a lot of people. But, you, but people just need to know that you need to uh, teach your children because once you teach your children early, they'll be very powerful people. This is why my I told my teacher one thing. Why don't you teach this college work to the young kids? He told me the honest answer I ever heard in my life. They'll be little radicals. That says, that says it right there. I'm, I'm kind of like a little radical in my own way. Because I don't like to see people getting, getting lied to. I don't like people getting dismissed. If this country followed the rules that they said on a regular basis, this would be the best country. But in it don't even follow. Yeah, but in the Constitution, this would be the best country. But it don't follow none of their rules, especially for black people. Because I told you, we three-fifths of a human. Once we get rid of that law, maybe we could be officially a human. Other than that, we can keep thinking we're free. We can keep doing stupid stuff like drinking and smoking all day or something that's not benefiting our people. We need to benefit our people. We need to learn this history. We need to learn the law. We need people in every direction, every melanated person in every direction. That way we can know all kind of fields, whether it's from nursing, whether it's from history, whether it's from... Uh, all kind of other fields, whether it's from preaching, whether it's from all kind of other fields. We need all of that. That way we can get down to the truth and help these people. You know? And I'm trying to tell you, I'm summarizing the whole thing right here. We know Abraham Lincoln being free, no slave. 
We need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of Christopher Columbus Discover America. We need to get rid of the lies and the truth shall be revealed. Kick it. No more corruption. The end with corruption. Corruption and all of this been a part of America for years. So if everybody keeps saying that America is not racist, it's not all that, they lying because they just don't know better. And we, we know better. Being a black community, we know that this country has a lot of racism. So this is what I have to say right now. And um, we'll t tell you more on chapter 8, 9, and 10. But thank you for listening. Much love. Rumble, young man Rumble. Thank you so much, historian Daniel Humphrey, for kicking the truth and spreading that knowledge that we don't learn in these school systems. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like the content, like what you're seeing, you want to support us doing more of this, there's one way you can help us right now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Body of Believers Unified. Share, like, comment, tell us your ideas and concepts because we are a virtual organization. That's what you're seeing on you, the YouTube channel. But all of our efforts, our work we do to help kids, mentoring programs, homeless programs, programs to help single mothers, we do in the streets, in the community. So every subscription helps us out spread that word. And if you have any gifts, talents, things you want to talk about, discussions, you want to talk about, or videos you want to upload, call me 412-744-6251 or email me at alexmobley2020 at yahoo, I'm um, sorry, at gmail.com. And let's get busy. We also have discussions Every Saturday, four to six, called the Body of Believers discussion on, and we, have, we we do it on Zoom. So just send me an email, and I'll send you an invite. My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for your support. We love you, and God bless. Please.